Difficult day for many in the tech industry as hundreds of employees at Argo AI in the Strip District found out they're losing their jobs. Two of the self-driving car company's biggest investors decided to pull out. KDK's Shelley Bortz talked about the reports, actually I should say reports on the impact to the area. County Executive Rich Fitzgerald says it's unfortunate that Argo AI is shutting its doors here in the Strip District, but he believes the city's tech industry will land on its feet. I am still very optimistic about where Pittsburgh is going. But that optimism will have to happen without the self-driving car technology of Argo AI. The company told about 2,000 of its employees that the company is folding. More than 800 of those are based right here in the Strip District. The company landed here six years ago thanks to a multi-billion dollar investment from Ford and Volkswagen. But now they say they don't see a path to profitability on fully autonomous vehicles. Both of the the big investors in Argo, whether it be Volkswagen and or Ford, um, probably got to the point where they want to see this thing out into the market, meaning revenues come in. Instead, the car makers will now focus their energy and money on partially automated driver assist systems, which need to be monitored by someone inside the vehicle. Argo AI CEO Brian Seleski confirmed the shutdown and released this statement in part. The team consistently delivered above and beyond, and we expect to see success from everyone in whatever comes next, including opportunities presented by Ford and VW to continue their work on automated driving technology. This move comes on the heels of a round of layoffs in July in which 150 people lost their jobs. Although it's still unclear just how many of the company's 2,000 employees will lose their jobs, County Executive Rich Fitzgerald, who has been a stark proponent since Argo's inception in 2016, believes many could find jobs right here in Pittsburgh in the tech industry. But I think the tech industry in Pittsburgh is going to continue to be strong. We have over 100 companies in about a 10-block area between Strip District and Lawrenceville, and I think they're going to continue to grow. Ford said it and Volkswagen would hire many of Argo's 2,000 employees, and some of the offices would remain open. In the Strip District, Shelley Bortz, KDKA News.